third guy. Now we have taken your Ukraine. We now take a beautiful part of the world. Let's go to Waterford. They cry for the love of Mother Russia. They have lost their leaders. Dan Shanahan, John Mullen, Ken McGrath. They are gone. Let's go. Let's bring Waterford back to Mother Russia. Let's go. Onward. Sergei, hold the tank. <coughs> Who is this beautiful looking man? Dressed very sharp. He reminds me of a young me. Hi, Vladimir. Do you mind me asking what are you doing here? Who are you? I am a Russian leader. I come to take this beautiful city back to Mother Russia. Hi, Vladimir. You're very welcome to this beautiful southeast of Ireland. You're welcome to Waterford. Where am I from? I'm actually from the city, believe it or not. Despite these beautiful dulcet D4 tones, I'm actually Keith Barry, famous Waterford person, probably the last famous person left here. After all the guys, Dan Shanahan and John Milan and Ken McGrath and all those other guys that decided to pack in the old hurling. So Waterford's pretty much left just at me. You are from Waterford? Don't make me laugh. You are undercover. Listen to your voice. You are Irish rugby team. You are Dublin 4 or somewhere like this. You are no Waterford. Get out of my way or you will be crushed. Look, Vladimir, I have to say, you don't have to do this. This is really, really not cool. Look, Vladdy, please. Please. Okay, listen. Just give me give me a second. I, I, gotta, I gotta get a friend on the phone here. Mick, you've got to try and talk this guy down because he's gone crazy. I mean, there's army tanks here. I mean, he's, he's on about taking over Waterford, for heaven's sake, and bringing it back to Russia. I mean, he's already taken Ukraine. Please make your last chance because otherwise, Keith Barry is about to brain hack Russian leader Vladimir Putin live here on the Brain Hacker Show. All right, Vladdy. It's, uh, it's Mick McArthur here, you know, mate. We, uh, we met the Euros there about three years ago. Um, Keith has just been on to me there. He's been telling me there's all sorts of craziness going on down there, so... I suppose he just asked me to have a word, so listen, you don't have to take my word for it, but if you're taking Waterford, you're taking a right crazy bunch out there. They're absolutely barmy for the eye down there. I've had Stephen Hunt at Ipswich, I've had him at Wolves, and he's he's one of the most famous sons, and if he's something to go by, you're taking on a right crowd of crazies, absolute crazies. Seriously, Vladdy, take it from me, take some of these, you like Scunthorpe or Barnsley or... Even go down the coast, down to Southampton or Portsmouth, because it's, uh, you're taking a lot of hassle on for yourself there at Waterford. You know, I, if I were you, I'd reverse. Turn around, take somewhere else. All right, cheers. Pleasure. Out of my way. Have it your way, Vladimir. You're about to get brain hacked. Okay, Vladimir, in five seconds you're going to wake up feeling fully refreshed and you're going to imagine that you're no longer a famous Russian world leader here to take the city. You've actually come over to Waterford for the Monster Final. And you're going to imagine and you're going to believe that you're actually Tomas Mulcahy, famous GEA pundit all the way from neighbouring Cork. Well, you know, Keith, you know, you know yourself, you know, you know all about the power of the mind, you know, but what must be going through the heads of these waterfall guys, you know, amongst the final and toilets, you know, we all talk about the colour and, you know, you know, the type of, you know, the hype that the waterfall guys bring to amongst the final, you know, it's going to be a huge effort for the waterfall guys, you know, the waterfall hollers, you know, and the, f- the support, you know, it's, you know, it's incredible, I mean, look at here, you know, there's even an army tank here, you know, on the way to the toilets, you know, we've seen it all here in amongst the finals, you know, and, you know, look at, Davy is going to have the water for guys, you know, revved up, you know, okay, fair enough, you know, the likes of the Fergal Hartleys, you know, the Ken McGraths and the Dan Shanahan's, you know, they might be gone, but you know, listen, water for guys on a most of final day, anything is possible, you know, and you know, look at these water for guys, you know, it's a lot of people say it's, you know, maybe played on Tipperary's home patch, but you know, these water for guys are well used to going to most of finals, you know, Taurus, it's going to be a huge day for the likes of Waterford, it's a huge day for Hurling and a great day for the most of finals. Oh no, what has befallen our great leader? You know, it's a huge day for the Waterford supporters. On a huge day for Mother Russia. <coughs> Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Holy cow! Vladimir is being unbrain hacked. What am I going to do now? Vladimir, you're no longer Tomas Mulcahy. You are Chris Eubank, former super middleweight boxing champion and famous Lisper. Hi, Keith. What an absolutely wonderful occasion it is to be here in Waterford because. To be honest, I've never been at a Munster hurling final, but it's something that I've always, if you like, heard about, and I've spoken with Steve Collins, a famous old foe of mine, and he's always spoken so eloquently about the the wonderful people of Waterford and the, the 
supporters, such wonderful support and great sporting public down here in Waterford. And it's it's just a huge honour to be here. And, you know, it's 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 got everything. It's a monster final. It's, as Tomas Mulcahy just said, it's, you know, it's a huge day for these Waterford hurling supporters. And, you know, it's these guys are just going crazy here. I've never seen it. It's like Ben Collins, Eubank all over again. It's it's absolute madness. It's it's the O2, it's Mill Street, it's it's incredible. It's it's an absolute joy to behold and just absolutely honoured and delighted to be able to sample some of this magnificent atmosphere. Holy crap, I'm starting to run out of time here. The mind can only take two brain hacks. Chris, you're being brain hacked again. Back to Tomas Mulcahy. <laughs> Look, at it. hold on a second, oh, Keith. You know, listen, fair enough. You know, you're doing the brain hacking, you know, but listen, we're well used to this. We were doing this brain hacking, you know, going back about 50 years ago, you know. I've been through the KGB, you know, all the boys in the criminal were warning me about this kind of nonsense. But look, at fair enough, you've been a good sport. Listen, we're going to turn around. Listen, you've given us the reasons why. Listen, we're not going to ruin anybody's month of file, you know. It's a huge day for these Waterford people. Fair enough, we might take up Mick McCarthy or some of the other guys up in one of the offers there. I think he mentioned some like the Barnsley's or the Scuntops of this world, you know, so... Look, come on guys, Sergei, the whole lot of you, come on. I think we, we might as well turn around here, you know, listen. I think it's time for us to, to maybe head back and, you know, have, have another think about it, maybe. Oh, Supreme Leader, you are back with us. Kind of. Your voice is very strange. I don't know what they think of this in the Kremlin when they talk like this when you go back. Ah, look at Sergei, you know, listen, I think, you know, all things considered, you know, you could say that we had our own little bit of a monster final there, you know, listen, we put in a good effort, you know, but listen, at the end of the day, you know, listen, you know, you got to take your, you know, you got to take your beating sometimes, you know, and listen, these Waterford guys, they weren't lying to us when they said, you know, these guys have got a lot of the heart and, you know, the spirit and, you know, a lot of their leaders might be gone, but, you know, listen, Keith Barry there, you know, maybe he's the new man, maybe to lead these Waterford people, you know, and put the foot down there, so listen, I I suppose, you know, maybe at this stage we might as well give it a go to take over the likes of the Bansies or the Scuntops, you know. As, you know, Mick McCarthy and Fairness he's been around the block a fair while, you know, so maybe, maybe Mick might be the man to maybe give us our next port a call.